Welcome to Math TV with Professor V. Happy Friday, everyone. This is the integral for the day. We have antiderivative of e to the 2x times cosine 7x dx. This is one of my favorites. I say that about all of them, I know. Um, we have to use integration by parts because we have a product here of two functions in the integrand, and we actually have to do it twice. This is one of those boomerangers, okay? Um, so here we go. It actually doesn't matter which function is u and which is dv, as long as you're consistent with both rounds. You'll see what I mean. So I'm just going to let u equal e to the 2x. So that means dv is going to be cosine 7x dx. So du would be 2 e to the 2x dx. And then v, let's think, antiderivative of cosine 7x would be 1 7th sine 7x. Yeah, hopefully at this point you don't need to u sub something like that. So I'm going to actually call this original integral i. That, and basically that's what we're trying to solve for, right? Or evaluate or find. So i, my integral, is equal to, remember by parts you have uv minus v integral of v du. So uv, that's going to be 1 7th, yes, write it that way, e to the 2x sine 7x minus, and then we have v du, integral of v du. So that's going to be, let's see here, integral of 2 sevenths e to the 2x sine 7x dx. All right, we have to apply integration by parts one more time before we're going to get anywhere. And the reason is um, that e to the 2x, its derivatives are cyclical. I mean, it just repeats. It's always e to the 2x times another factor of 2. Cosine 7x, its derivatives also are cyclical, the pattern. So that's why when we apply multiple iterations of integration by parts, that original integral i will pop back up and we'll solve for it like we do variables in Algebra 1. Okay, so round two, basically, pick new variables or, you know, spice them up a little. I'm going to say u bar, dv bar, du bar, and v bar. And I'm going to apply this now to just this integral right here, the integration by parts, okay? Okay. Um, since u was the exponential function in round one, u bar needs to be the exponential function in round two. You got it? So I'm going to let u bar be 2 sevenths e to the 2x. So then dv bar is going to be sine 7x dx. And then du bar, derivative of 2 sevenths e to the 2x would be 4 sevenths e to the 2x dx. Don't forget that dx. Otherwise, whew, if you're in my class, you're in trouble. And then v bar, antiderivative of sine 7x dx, negative 1 seventh cosine 7x. No dx. Nope. Okay. So let's see what we got going on now. I'm just going to bring down this i. Bring it down. One, um, I equals 1 seventh e to the 2x sine 7x minus, all right, we've got another uv, bam. So what is that? Negative 2 over 49 e to the 2x cosine 7x minus vdu. But since there's already a negative, it's just going to be plus, okay? Plus integral 4 over 49e to the 2x cosine 7x dx. Boop, boop. Okay. Do you recognize anything? This expression, this integral that I called i e to the 2x times cosine 7x dx. Here it is again. That's why I call these boomerangers. Not just me, a lot of people. Because they the original integral pops back up after multiple rounds of integration by parts. So let's clean things up and then we're pretty much ready to roll. You'll see how. This is i equals 1 7th e to the 2x sine 7x plus 2 over 49 
e to the 2x cosine 7x minus 4 over 49, and then this is integral, e to the 2x cosine 7x dx. Remember, this integral is what we called i originally. So I'm going to actually replace it with that. And I want to solve for or find i. That was really the problem that we had at the very beginning. I want to evaluate this integral. So I'm going to add 4 over 49i to both sides and solve for it like you would just any old variable if you were in Algebra 1. All the days. Okay, so let's see what's going on. I have 1i plus 4 over 49i. So that's basically 49 over 49i plus 4 over 49i. So now this is 53 over 49i. And this equals 1 7th e to the 2x sine 7x plus 2 over 49 e to the 2x cosine 7x. From here, last step, if you want i by itself, multiply both sides by the reciprocal of its coefficient. So that would be 49 over 53. And then we're pretty much done. So I have i, which was originally integral e to the 2x cosine 7x dx. That equals, I'm going to distribute now 49 over 53 times 1 over 7. I'm going to have 7 over 53. Yes, I will. 7 over 53 e to the 2x sine 7x plus, and then if I distribute that to 2 over 49, the 49s cancel out, so then I have 2 over 53 uh, e to the 2x cosine 7x. And then here's that dangerous part. You just have to have your wits about you and remember to put the plus C. Ah, okay. You can leave it like this. I would be so happy if you were in my class and you made it this far. Um, but we could factor and clean it up just a smidge if you were so inclined to perhaps take out a 1 over 53 and e to the 2x. Does that sound enticing to anybody? 1 over 53 e to the 2x. And then you have 7 sine 7x plus 2 cosine 7x plus C. How do we feel about that? Do we like it better necessarily? You know how I would like it better? Let me just write it as e to the 2x over 53. I think that would look nicer. e to the 2x over 53. Hmm. Okay. Tell me which one you like better. First or this second way with it factored out? I haven't decided. So that concludes the integral of the day. Hope everyone's Friday is off to a fabulous start and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. You can also catch me on TikTok and Instagram at math TV with Professor V. Stay tuned, guys.